Hello and welcome back to Final Fantasy XII Hunts, the Zodiac Age, the Zodiac Hunt, whatever. We are on this one, conveniently right here, right next to us. Our good friend over here, actually named, I believe he's the only one that is named. Could be mistaken, but I think he is. Um, he is also over here, as you can see. That's not what I was going to say, because I didn't mean to start that with he, but... Uh, it's also raining in real life. If it gets too heavy, I'll have to actually stop recording, because it does... Uh, if it blows a certain way, it gets really loud, but anyway. For now, we just get to have the atmospheric noise of rain in real life and in a video game. Well, you guys can't hear it, but I can. He shares the name Ashcroft. He is my twin. My brother began to visit me in dreams, not that he was in real life, but as the horrible Pisco Dame. He goes to the uh, forbidden holy land of Giru Vagan. He passes the gate of fire. He seeks to consort with the undying. Now that is quite a ways away, actually. So we're going to check specifically where in Giru Vagan he is. It says Gate of Fire, but I don't remember where that is. It's over there. Okay. So that's still a fair run. Because of how Giru Vagan works. Our, uh, that was weird. Do you see his like wobble there on the stairs? Or was that just me that saw the wobble? It was just me, I don't know. I'm going insane. Um, because of how Gear Vegan works, we have to teleport outside of it and then make our way through all those enemies and stuff. So I'm actually going to uh, cut the recording until I'm at the area with the save crystal right before the zone of the hunt. So I will see you guys when I'm there. So here we are, down in the land down under, known as Gear Vegan or Australia, depending. This is what Australia looks like, confirmed. We are at the location that we need to be. So he should be here, and we are going to need black magic at some point in this fight, so uh, we'll see. But for now we're going to clear out the enemies in the nearby vicinity, preferably without aggroing him because it's a lot of these Vivians, which are obviously bad for our general health because they have uh, about 85 trillion status ailments they can inflict. So there he is. He's got some friends with him, but there he is. So we're gonna back up for a second. Make sure Penelo has finished her buffing. She has. And we're gonna begin the fight. So there he is. Obviously want to dispel him because he has many buffs that are generally not good. But he himself, as you can see, super easy. He does heal himself. He will rebuff himself. And he will actually make himself immune to physical damage at some point here. I don't know what fog does. It did something, I guess. I don't know. Oh. It appears to have killed Vaughn. Entirely. Oh, fog... Eh, fog takes all your MP away. That's a bit rude. Hope he died. He does have, and you're gonna have to believe me for this because he didn't use it, he does have the ability to make himself immune to physical damage, which will mean you have to utilize uh, magic to fight him, which obviously is a bit of a pickle if he steals all your MP, isn't it? But anyway, I don't know what killed Vaughn, I wasn't paying attention. Regardless, that's that hunt, and it's a very long way back out of here, so I'm going to save you guys the hassle once again, and cut the video until I manage to get out, because again, it's a long walk. And we're back after our journey of discovery. I think we leveled up at some point during it, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't. That's proper English. This place, I thank you. You are strong indeed. So we get Dark Shot, which is okay. Not generally as useful as Silent Shot, but there are uses for it. And that's it, that's it. That's all we got. That hunt is actually garbage. I don't know why it's so late in the game, but it's a fairly low rank 
compared to everything else around it, but regardless, the next one is here in the Irgut village. So I will see you guys when I get there. And what not? And I don't actually remember who gave me the hunt, but I'm gonna assume it's Rena. I would have you vanquish this wild metaphor. Deep in the Gomor jungle, a wild Maboro has come to the mist shrouded trails of the Feywood. Like, I'd like to point out that the forest literally right outside of here is full of Malboro. I don't understand why this specific one in the Feywood is the problem, but you know. We faced a wild amount of borrow. We suspect this creature survived within the Feywood, held in check by the Felbloom Raphalasia. Make for the Feywood, fell the wild Malboro. Well, if you insist, there better be some good pay for fighting Malboros, because I really do hate the things. Much like every other endgame Malboro, it contains, or er, knows, so it's in the boss arena. Interesting. It knows all of the breath attacks, so clawing breath, putrid breath, bad breath. Uh, it also knows some self-buffing abilities like Wild March, I believe is the name of the ability. Running quad speed anywhere is basically impossible for me. Now I could cut the video here. Where we uh, make our way that way, just cut the video because you guys really don't need to see that. We've been through here. Or at the very least, you guys know the area, so I don't need to tell you where to go. You can read maps on your own. But, you know, it's going to be a really short video if I end it there, so we're going to make our way manually through here. All of these enemies are one-shottable, so it's not like it's going to take hard. Take, take hard, be hard, or take a while is what I meant to say there. None of these enemies give me the XP I desire. 500 on the high end, that's basically worthless. I also don't care about any of the loot they drop. This is the wrong way, but it's the way I've gone. What is this? I'm pretty sure I picked this up. Yeah. Which is nothing of importance. Hello, my T-Rex-based friend. Goodbye, my T-Rex-based friend. We are needed elsewhere. I forgot it does that with the traps. That's fine. We're much higher level now, so the traps in this area shouldn't pose a threat to us. We're gonna get a lot of succulent fruits too. Which has its uses. Those enemies are still annoying because they can still cause confuse. It's really the only reason they're a problem. Otherwise they don't do anything. And they sort of just exist. Which I suppose is okay. They can do whatever it pleases them, but you know. You should generally try to strive for something higher than just existing. What about you? Forgot he lives in that little corner there. I'm gonna go this way whenever we're done. Alrighty. So our wild Malboro friend should be here. We'll go ahead and touch the save crystal just to top up. I don't think we need to, but just, you know, why not? It's right there. You may as well. How big are you, my friend? You appear to be moderately larger than a regular Malboro. You're also very fast. You have all of the buffs. Now, Malboro are weak to wind. We do not have anyone in our current party that can use a wind attack, but if you have faith in Aroga, you can probably, actually, I'm pretty sure you can kill the uh, regular Malboros in a single hit that spawn over here, but we're going to manually do it. Uh, I forgot. He's a thing. Again, he knows every breath. He will very quickly murder you if given the chance. Pinello, what are you doing? Because it's not your job at the moment. Whatever you're doing, it is not what you're supposed to be. My god, he hits pretty hard. 
I wish he didn't, but he does. Jesus. All right, all the extra dudes are dead. Now we can try and stabilize this. I would recommend having someone who has decoy equipped or uh, buffed onto them so that you can face bad breath and I think putrid breath. Maybe not, or cloying breath. One of them. No, it's definitely not putrid. Uh, so that you can face it away from the party so that the least number of people... Please stop. The least number of people possible will get affected by his breath attacks. Um, that's really the only problem with this thing. Obviously, it's a Malboro. That's it's the only problem ever with these things. Soul Etude. What the heck does... Oh, it heals him fully. Well, that's a bit rude, don't you think? So we're going to speed it up because it's the same thing as always. He beats the dickens out of people. He uses breaths. He's a Malboro. This is what he does. He does no counter. He does get buffs when he reaches critical health. Just like everything else, I believe he gets increased uh, physical damage, physical attack speed, uh, defense. He's also, as you might have noticed, entirely immune to physical. Rather irritatingly so. We're going to bring Ash up. She has decoy. She also should have a Roga. So we can use that a bit to, to start hitting them. Although it does basically the same damage as uh, Flare, although it's faster. He's absolutely murdering her. Nella, what you up to? Besides watching Ash die currently. Did she die again upon immediately standing up? I think she did. Ash has decoy. She really needs bubble, but this thing also really needs to die. So we're just going to continue trying to get her to cast a roga on it. Uh, I think the only other person that would have a roga might be a red mage. Uh, but you can also... Oh, Ash died again. You can also just utilize... Uh standard black magic like fire raga and stuff like that it just won't be nearly as effective or flare if you have access to it but not a roga somehow i don't know how you would have accomplished this but it's possible so we should die from this please there we go we have defeated the wild malboro we've done it Let's get Ash back out of her party eventually. Nope. Eventually. Nope. There we go. Bring Bosch back in. I want to get him XP. Uh, although I haven't decided if Bosch or Vaughn actually will be our uh, DPS quote unquote character because. Uh, I gotta go this way. Henne Mines is another video. Because. Bosch does have uh, the ability to cast Bravery, so he can maintain at least that buff on himself and other people. But I think Vaughn puts out more DPS than Bosch. And for the DPS character, I'm pretty sure whenever I use them, I'm just going to employ uh, Bravery plus Berserk to, to output a ridiculous quantity of damage. So he's not going to be doing any buffing because he's going to be berserked. He'll never do any buffing during party or during fights. So I don't know who to pick. I might just go with Vaughn because Vaughn is uh, going to be very, very useful for Yasmet. Yasmet, Yasmet, because Yasmet is still, as far as I'm aware, weak to dark damage. And the Yagyu Darkblade, obviously, is very good for that, because it does dark damage, obviously. And it does a lot of dark damage. And then you put Bravery and um, Berserk on them, and it does even more dark damage. It's actually ridiculous how high it can go. So we'll have to see, I suppose. But anyway, that's for another time, another place, another video. And it will be its own video. Yasmat is obviously going to be its own video because that fight is generally three to six hours long, depending on uh, the level you go in with and the level of preparation you go in with as well. 
Now, of course, we do have quad speed, so we can speed it up, but it is still going to be a very, very long fight. Probably at least an hour, but we'll have to see when we get there what sort of setup we run with and stuff like that. There is a variety of ways to do that fight. I'll go over them uh, at the start of the video for that fight in particular, but for now, we're going to talk to Rinna again. You have earned your bounty with honor. Take it. It apparently comes from Rail herself. Get the Eclid Sectant. Which is the thing I will never use. Alright, so that's that hunt. I'll go ahead and show you the second. There you go. On hit bubble. Elemental damage of holy, but on hit bubble is not particularly useful necessarily. It obviously will save you MP, but you know, on hit bubble. Woo! It's better on hit things. We have one more hunt to do. Uh, before elite hunts, because there's two more normal hunts. We're not going to do them yet, though. But for now, we got to do this one, which is over in the land of the Jahara. Otherwise known as a Jahara. Anyway, I'll see you guys when I get there. And here we are in front of our friend Warchief Supanalu. I would kill the Cataplebus, that is the what? Catoblepus, whatever. In the deepest reaches of desertan and caverns, in a valley where a sandfall flows. Observe my fight with the Catoblepus. Catoblepus. Retrieve my body when it is done. Yo, he's confident of his own death going into this. He has no fear. Now he gives you a small hint as to where it is, but it's not much of a hint. As is tradition with all hunts, we can simply open it up and see. It's right there. It is a uh, secret pathway that is accessible either via the north, which I don't know if we... No, it's not accessible nor via the north at all. Never mind. It's only accessible via that save point. But regardless... It's not a particularly far run. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave our party like this, but we will be switching our party up when we get over there. We're gonna make our way over to the Zertan and Caverns. It's not much of a run, so we're gonna leave it in the video. Really don't need to kill all these chocobos and stuff. They don't give us anything and they don't do any damage. So what do we gotta go north? I always forget it's north of here and not east of here. For some reason, I keep thinking it's east. I don't know. I, it's just my... The mental image of this area in my head is weird for some reason, even though I've played this game a bajillion times. That's an actual number, by the way. Google it. Jujubajillion times. Uh, even though I've done it so many times, my mental map is still a little messed up. I don't, I don't know. It's weird. Anyway. We're gonna make our way through this area, murdering the wildlife as is tradition. They give decent XP for their level. Of course, they can't be tricky to fight, but you know, 800 XP is not bad. Not bad at all. We're not here for the XP necessarily, though, it's just a bonus. We'll be doing high level XP grinding at a later time, and also explain it. I think I've mentioned this before, but if I haven't, now I have. I don't want to fight you, go away. This area is going to be full of evil spirits. Not actually, they're just zombies. I suppose that doesn't count as an evil spirit. We're going to bypass them all, as is tradition. Make our way around this corner, please. Eventually. The Bosch is helping, those would die a lot faster. Every once in a while, Bosch does have to refle refresh, refresh, um bravery so all right so we're gonna take Vaughn out of the party whenever he's done being targeted there we go we're gonna put Ash in the party because you generally speaking want a character capable of tanking this enemy because this enemy hits fairly hard 
what we're doing here. Do want, there we go, lure to apply. Lure and bubble, in fact. I want bubble to apply so much, I'm actually gonna take those off and give her bubble build. She'll lose the haste, so that'll have to be applied, but haste is very easily applied and it's not as devastating as not having bubble because this dude hits really hard. We can make our way around here, preferably without triggering that. You'll also want to buff him as much as physically possible. Every little bit helps. I hate the decoy doesn't last very long. I also hate that there's no other way to apply it apart from that nonsense. So there he is. I would like to aggro him away from these traps, but instead we'll just step on him anyway. And we'll turn him around. He will rebuff himself very slightly, but I don't think he'll maintain the buffs the entire fight. Apparently he really likes Protect. Let's see if he continues doing that, because that's going to make this fight a lot easier. Does he still have Protect? He doesn't. Oh. So Decoy wore off. As you can see, he instantaneously killed our friend. So this is what he does. When he reaches critical health, by the way, you should kill him quickly, or he will murder you. So he's going to have haste in a second. His attacks can hit for upwards of 3.5k, depending on the gear that you have. They can hit for upwards of 5 if you're like wearing light armor. But uh, when he reaches critical health, he gets buffs. He also starts chaining his attacks a lot more frequently. He is very capable of entirely murdering your party, as you can see. A boss here should be doing damage while everyone else tries to stay alive, mostly. There we go. If you can't kill him quickly when he reaches critical health, he'll wipe your party in about 10 seconds. So that's why I want. That's why I recommend having a tank with bubble and decoy to keep him off of your weaker in your uh, weaker teammates. Because he'll one-shot Pinello, I'm pretty sure. Like, um, even with bravery, or uh, sorry, bubble on Pinello, I think he'll do most of her health in a single hit, so if he happens to combo it, he'll just kill her anyway. So, that is a thing to keep in mind. Now we have to make our way back to the village itself. The village of Jehara. Carrying his corpse because he did die. It is possible to keep him alive during that fight. However, there's such a small window for getting Ash to swap out of the party. Um, it is possible to keep him alive in that fight. However, it's extremely unlikely and also not at all required. So just keep that in mind. Like if you want to, sure, go ahead, try for it. It's a good goal to have to keep that dude alive, but uh, it's going to be a lot of work for no reason whatsoever. Vanello has been afflicted with stop. This is not the direction I want to go. That did 9,000 damage, I think. It was quite a lot of damage. I'm just speed running through this area now. I don't really care about the enemies or the XP they give or whatever. I really want Ash not in the party, but she keeps getting targeted by everything, so I'm just going to make my way back and ignore the fact that she exists. Bosh cancels bravery. We don't need bravery, Bosh. It's okay. We're just fighting like level 20 snakes. What level are these? 21 snakes. Hello, my in tight friend. I don't want to fight you. I have no desire to fight you and your silences. Not that it would be a trouble. We could probably easily kill that uh, Intite at this point. We could probably easily kill every Intite in the game at this point, but I have no desire to, so... We'll just ignore their existence. Make our way over here, and by God, he's alive. Somehow, despite quite clearly dying in the fight. Allow me to tell you, ta tell you a tale. Tell you a tale. I ventured into Zertan and Caverns alone to slay the dreaded Catablepus. I 
threw my spirits into bettering myself as a warrior. Daily I swung my sword. You're welcome. So we get Volcano, Arctic Wind, some Gil that is otherwise useless. And that is that. There's also this guy over here, entirely unrelated to the hunt, and I just thought I'd point him out. I already asked why it came here. Why you pecking stuffs at his, at his game? It likes your masks. I will thank it for you. There you go. No, I don't want to talk to you again, Shuri. I know. It came from the Giza Plains. Please tell the Great Chief that we have a visitor. You tell the Great Chief. This is entirely unrelated to hunts, but I don't think it's actually related to anything else at this point. I don't think there's a, like a side quest tied to this. Hello, Great Chief. The gift of the Great Chief. I feel like this might be a small side quest at this point. Hello, my friend. For me. And then we also have to do something way back at the, the thing over there. I don't know why I'm including this in a hunt video, but I am. Look, I was in the area, all right? We're just gonna, we're gonna speed run our way over there. Hopefully it's not raining in the Giza Plains because that would just make me really sad. I don't think there's any way to tell from this side. I think there's only a way to tell from uh, the Ribonastron side of the Giza Plains if it's raining before you go in there. I don't think the skybox over here changes. It's always just the same skybox. Let's find out though. Ah, it is dry. Perfect. Ow. I mean, it, I said ow instinctively, but did zero damage, so you know, but ow. Oh, you know what? I also forgot I need to do something else. Why did I go across this bridge? I don't know, but I did. Anyway, here we are. The Giza Plains. I must speak with you, Brunoa. Yes, that did meet him. Well. All the cockatrices are gone. But uh, I also can't give Bruno or thing, so whatever. Either way, that's it. Uh, next time, there will be there's two more regular hunts and a fair few elite hunts and then Yasmat. So we still have a wee bit to go. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.